Welcome to getting started with the Akamai development environment. I am Mike Ellison, developer advocate at Akamai Technologies, and today I will be guiding you through this short tutorial on how to get started with the Akamai development environment. Akamai offers a rich library of approximately 100 different APIs, as well as command line interface or CLI packages that allow you to manage your Akamai solutions. Whether it is making a change to your Akamai delivery configuration or retrieve the latest traffic reports, the ability to execute these requests are available to you, and it might be easier to start with than you think. The Akamai development environment offers you a simple solution in bundling the required tools together to help you get started faster. This comes in the form of a Docker image that can be customized depending on your needs. You can install the full image or only cherry pick the tools that you require. Now, once you've installed Docker on your platform of choice, you can run one simple command to download the Akamai Docker image to have your Akamai development environment fully up and running. And you can find additional instructions on our Akamai GitHub on github.com slash Akamai slash Akamai Docker. Now, additionally, in order to use the tools included that utilizes the Akamai APIs, you will need to properly authenticate your requests with Akamai Edge Grid authentication. We recommend watching the accompanying video getting started with Akamai APIs, creating an API client to create an API client with the proper API tokens for you to use in your Akamai development environment. Now let's get started with a quick demo to showcase how easy it is to install the Akamai development environment. Ensure that Docker is installed and running. And once that is configured, run the following command. In this sped up view, you can see the Docker image is now downloading and installing. And this process takes less than three minutes, depending on your internet speed. And there we go. The Akamai development environment is now fully installed and launched. We can now go ahead and use the environment for a wide variety of use cases. Managing your Akamai S code and deploy new configurations or configuration changes through the Akamai Terraform provider are now easily done due to the inclusion of Terraform. Perching content in one command because the Akamai Perch CLI package is also pre-installed. And we can even go ahead and troubleshoot our Akamai requests with the Pragma headers, which can also be done because of the inclusion of curl. Now, as a bonus best practice, we recommend setting up an alias to run the request faster. Here we go ahead and bind akadev with the right request. This can help speed up commands as demonstrated in the following commands. In this example, we are running the akadev alias, which is actually underwater executing the Docker image. We're running the curl package inside of there. We're adding our Akamai Pragma headers, and we're running that for a request, a test image that we have deployed here called Schrodinger's cat.png. As you can see here with the X cache, this is actually an image that is right now being served in cache. So let's go ahead and actually purge this image from the Akamai Edge servers. And as you can see on the screen here, we again ran Akadev, which is running Docker underwater. We're actually executing the Akamai CLI with the Akamai CLI purge package and running the invalidate command for this particular image. Now let's run our request again. And as you can see, we now have a refresh miss meaning that the image was purged. Now this simple purge request is just one of many different use cases that you can use in order to use your Akamai development environment. I hope that this tutorial on getting started with the Akamai development environment has been helpful for you and has given you the knowledge to start utilizing the toolbox that Akamai Developer provides. For more content, please visit developer.akamai.com where you can find more tutorials and information. Now, if you have any questions on Akamai Developer, please feel free to reach out. You can find me personally on social media under the handle at Akamai Mike. I want to thank you very much for your time today, and I hope to see you again in our other tutorials. Good luck and happy Akamizing.